Hello everyone, my name is Peter Antevi and here for another edition of the Hand Tevi Minute. Today is one of my favorite diagnoses in, is croup. Croup in EMS causes a lot of stress and oftentimes I see a lot of EMS providers giving albuterol for croup. Now we know that shouldn't be the case and oftentimes it's recommended to use racemic epi for croup. Now we know that a lot of us don't carry racemic epi it comes as 0.5 mLs, and then we're supposed to add 3 mLs of normal saline and put it into a nebulizer. So I would say that there's really no need for this because there's another trick that you can use, and that is using Epi 1 to 1000 straight directly into the nebulizer. So what I'm going to recommend is epinephrine 1 to 1000, which is also known as 1 milligram per mL and you take three mLs of that and you put it directly into the nebulizer. So let me show you what I mean. So here's Epi 1 to 1000. I have three mLs. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to insert it right into my nebulizer. Close it off. And now I'm ready to treat croup. And so there's one additional thing that we haven't talked about yet, which is that nebulized Epi not only could be used for croup, like we just talked about, but another thing I like to use it for is asthma. And so some of you listening may say, well, haven't heard of that before, but let's take a look at the physiology of that. So epi, we know, hits both the beta-2 receptors and the alpha receptors. Specifically, let's talk about alpha-1. So for beta-2, we know this is the smooth muscle relaxation. And for alpha-1, this is a vasoconstrictor. So at lower dosages, it hits the beta-2, so it does the same exact thing as albuterol would do for asthma. And then the alpha-1, the vasoconstrictor, that's where it's helping for croup. And so oftentimes, if you have a really sick asthmatic who is circling the drain and you may have to intubate them, I often like to give them some, a little alpha-1 support, either by giving them epi-IM or what have you, so in this particular case, you can kill two birds with one stone by giving epi 1 to 1,000. That will help the asthmatic from, with a, from a smooth muscle relaxation perspective and from a vasoconstriction perspective. So consider using it for not just croup, but for asthma. And again, you're carrying it today. All you have to do is add it to your nebulizer. Thanks for another edition of the Hentevi Minute. I'm Dr. Peter Antevi.